Welcome to the synthesis of produce on pathology. We are looking at countability properties and to be precise, we are looking at the first countable species. In the previous video, we have proved that a subspace of a first countable space is first countable. Okay? A subspace of a first countable space is first countable. And this is the proof of it. Now, in this video, let us prove that the product of two first countable spaces is first countable. Okay. So let us declare the theorem. Theorem. If X and Y are first countable basis then the product x cross y is also first countable okay now you may guess what will be the neighborhood basis for this case. Yes, let's try to prove this. Proof. So, as we know that we need to show that this x cross y is first countable. That means at every point, say x comma y in this space, we should have a neighborhood basis. And of course, to get this neighborhood basis, we will use the uh, fact that x and y are first countable spaces okay so let us show that this x cross y is first countable space so let us take a point in x cross y so let let x comma y be a point in x cross y let us take a point in x cross y so since x comma y belongs to x cross y this implies the first coordinate x belongs to x and also we can say that this y belongs to y. Now we can use the fact that x and y are first countable spaces. Okay. So since since x and y and y are first countable spaces, what we can have is we have the neighborhood basis for x and y in x and y. Okay. So this implies since x and y are first countable spaces, there exists the uh, neighborhood basis for x. So let us take that to be Bn. N belongs to a uh, natural number. This is let us take neighborhood basis of x in the space capital X and Again, since y belongs to y and y is first countable, implies there exists say another basis say C n n belongs to natural number. This is the neighborhood basis, neighborhood basis of y in y. That means this B n and C n are open in X and Y respectively. Now from this neighborhood basis, we need to get the neighborhood basis for x comma y. Okay, and hence we can claim. Let us claim. Let us write in this another color. Claim we claim that by using this, the the set say BM cross with say CN is M and N belongs to natural number is countable basis or countable collection of neighborhoods of x comma y in x cross y now to show this let's go back 
to the fact that we have taken x comma y in x plus y right and we now claim bm cross cn now remember we are not saying that it's b1 cross c1 only and like b1 cross c1 b2 cross c2 b3 cross c3 only like those elements here we have b1 cross c2 as well okay so take that point in mind so let us show that this is the uh, of course this this is open in x cross y also it is countable as you can show that it's countable collection of the so that is n cross n right the, we know that countable product of uh, countable spaces is countable and countable uh, no finite product of countable spaces is countable okay so let us show that this is a neighborhood basis now so to show that let us take a neighborhood say like let us take a neighborhood say u cross v be neighborhood of the point say x comma y in x cross y okay say this neighborhood in x cross y so let us take this as a neighborhood of a point x comma y in x cross y which is open in x cross y so what does that mean now remember we need to show that there exists an element of this set which is contained inside this uh, u cross v okay so again this countable collection this is the uh, neighborhoods and all that is very clear so we will not write it so since x comma y belongs to u cross v this implies this x belongs to u and this y belongs to v and since this x belongs to u and we know that this this bn this bn is a neighborhood basis for x this implies there is some element in this set such that this x belongs to that element okay so this implies there exists say some m not in natural number such that x belongs to this bm not b m not which contain inside u by definition of the neighborhood basis over here since x is first countable space and also and also so since this y belongs to v right this y belongs to v implies there exists say n not belonging to natural number such that this y belongs to this set one of this uh, c n not right belongs to c n not which contains set v so since this x belongs to v m not and y belongs to c n not this implies x comma y belongs to this implies x comma y belongs to b m not cross with c n not and of course this b m not contain inside u and c n not contain inside v this implies this is contain inside u cross v and that's why we have taken the collection of the form of the form b m cross c n right this m need not be equal to n that is also by looking at this observation okay and hence hence if we denote this as uh, let us denote this by say v hence this v is neighborhood basis of x comma y in x cross y and therefore we can say that the product of two first countable spaces that is x cross y is first countable so uh, product of two first countable spaces is first countable and in the previous video we have proved that a subspace of a first countable space is first countable in the next video we will show that continuous open image of first countable space is first countable so see you in the next video